to yet another edition of Silver Ethereum's Anime Corner Figure Edition. Now, today we're going to be reviewing a figure. A mysterious figure, an interesting figure, a very well-made figure. Not being able to get into any school, but good news. One school does accept him. Um, but it turns out uh, the students there aren't exactly human. He stumbled upon a school for yokai, or monsters, if you will. And they don't know he's human at first, and, you know, they can't really find out he's human because that would be bad. So, as most people would do, I assume, being confronted with a school for monsters when they weren't expecting it, um, he tries to get away. And he runs into Mocha. Of course, Mocha is also a monster as well. A vampire. Very, very nice. Very sweet. And of course, the rosary around Mocha's neck seals away her real powers and her other self, which is quite a bit different than her uh, outer personality. And it is of this personality that Good Smell Company decided to make a figure of Mocha Akashia, the Awakened Version, which is the figure we're actually going to be reviewing today. So here we are, back at the normal review table. So you're wondering, where is the figure? Well right there. So here is the lovely Mocha. Very nice red and black theme going on there. We have a picture of her, Mocha Akashia, from Rosario Plus Vampire, by of course the lovely Good Smile Company. And it is a 1 8 scale figure, which you'll notice if you look right under her name. So that's the front and on the side we have another little window with a little cross shape, another picture of her, her name again, some chains. To the back, we have a lot of different pictures of how she looks from all different angles. Um, we have our Hobby Japan sticker right there, Good Smell Company and Gift. So on the other side, another picture of her, another cross window and her name. Top here, her name, bat wings on the top and on the bottom. Just very plain, just her name and Rosario plus Vampire logo. So, the part you've all been waiting for. I have my true rusty knife. Let's open her up. Now you must be careful when opening up figures of vampire characters. Because you might lose a little bit of your blood. Ta-da! Mocha, out of her packaging. So, you can see she comes with a few things. Looks like her base on the bottom here, uh, her cross, which she is leaning against when you put her on the base. Um, she comes with uh, her little rosary right here, it looks like. Look what we have here. Absolutely beautiful. You can see down here that there's a little hole right there because she's made to sit on her cross. So what I'm going to do is attach her to the base. A base looks like a reflective bottom. See, it looks really dirty, but this can be deceiving because this peels off. It is with a nice reflective surface. See the hole right there? The hole is for this cross. This cross is what a Miss Mocha sits on. So as we'll just line up her hole with the cross, she's going to sit on it. Actually, it's easier to put her on first, as I've just discovered. So here she is on her base. So, 
let's get this on her hand here. And there it is, holding her rosary. Just slides right into her hand. That's the inside of the box, outside of the box. So here's Mocha and all of her loveliness. Very, very beautiful figure. Very, very well done. Very representative of the character. Now this is Good Smile Company, the ones who make the Nendroids that I review. You notice with this figure that Good Smile puts out a lot of other figures that are of excellent quality besides Nendroids. As you can tell with her, she is extremely well done. Just excellent quality here. A prime example of Good Smile's very high quality work. I know I've been uh, only reviewing Nendroids of Good Smile, and that's the majority of uh, Good Smile figures I have, but they do wonderful work in terms of detail and, and everything else. You'll notice her hair very, in a very, uh, very nice dynamic pose here, kind of flowing upwards like that. Um, holds very well. Her dress, kind of, it's kind of a slightly shiny red and white. Um, good detail on her dress um, in the in the front here. It's like a bit of like corset strapping, except on the front, not in the back. When she turn around, her dress is just kind of folding over the cross, as it were, which is why. You can't display this figure without the base. It looks stupid otherwise, because she's meant to sit on the cross. Um, her cross has little nicks and notches in it, just basically to show, kind of, kind of make it seem like it's stone and worn stone, um, like a grave. Um, it also has shading, different kind of darker and lighter shading to make it look like more like stone than than plastic. Um, very secure in the base when you slide it in there. Very secure. It's not wobbly or anything at all. Neither is she. When she's sitting on the cross. Looks very natural. Looks like her, just her arm just kind of rest in there. Love this pose. Very awesome. Um, and you notice her chains right here on this one arm off this um, little wrist cuff she has here. Um, it looks like it's made of real metal. It's not plastic. Um, as well as the uh, chain on her neck where her rosary usually sits, although she's holding it now because she's in her awakened version. Um, so you'll see that it's just this um, rosary comes separate in the package like you saw. Um, it just kind of slides into her forefinger and her thumb on her right hand. So you just uh, kind of pry them open a little bit, slide it in, and it holds really nice. You see on her back she has a little bit of, little pair of um, kind of bat wings. She is of course a vampire. Very awesome detailing in her eyes and everything. I'll bring her a bit closer so you can see. Red eyes, very nice, like her eyebrows, her little sly smirk. You can see her fingernails, which are also very well detailed. Long fingernails. I only have one other figure with a reflective base, which is a gift figure. And I notice this figure is um, looks like gift cooperated with Good Smile Company on this figure. So that kind of makes sense. And I'll show you that one, just for comparison's sake. My only other figure with a reflective base, Gift Yoko. An absolutely stunning Yoko, if you are looking for a Yoko. Extremely well done, but I'm not reviewing here right now. Just as a comparison. Obviously a different scale than Mocha here. So you really can't go wrong with this figure. Rosario Plus Vampire is, is a pretty good series. Um, definitely a lot of fan service, a lot of panty shots. So if you're not into that thing or you, you it offends you, I don't particularly mind it because I'm quite used to it. Pretty humorous series. Um, very easy series. There's nothing to like mind-blowing. Good for a little bit of entertainment. She is an excellent, excellent buy. I can't, I can't stress that enough. Um, I really do love this figure. I love the pose. I love everything about it. I don't see really any flaws in it at all. I love the base. I just love it. It's one thing that um, Alter can do a bit better on, I think. Um, their figures, absolutely extraordinary. Their bases, somewhat plain. This base, awesome. Cannot go wrong if you like her. Fantastic. Excellent. Absolutely lovely. I would highly, highly recommend her um, as this figure and as a prime example of the quality of figure a good smile company can put out besides Nendroids. That's all. So this is Silver Ethereum signing off. Have a wonderful day and keep that collection growing.